Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Celebrity Cars. 2005 Ferrari F430 Spider. Just a couple clicks over 28,000 miles. Shows on the odometer. It's in incredible shape and it's ready to go. Welcome to Celebrity Cars, ladies and gentlemen. We're located in Las Vegas, halfway between Henderson, Nevada and Summerlin, Nevada at 7770 Dean Martin Drive. You come to Vegas on vacation, you're a car person, you gotta come check out our cars. We got a car show going on. Go to uh, celebritycars.com, click on the car show, you can check out all that stuff. Anyway, we've known this car for quite a while. Quite a while, we've known lots of owners, uh, well, just a couple of the owners of this car. Uh, we know it's been in good hands. We know it's been serviced recently. You wanna go to celebritycars.com to find out all the service records, Carfax, what size motor, how many horsepower it's got, all that kind of stuff. But we all know what, how many horsepower this has got in the engine size. So we'll go over all that kind of stuff later on. But I'm your living, breathing condition report guy. So maybe you're across the world. Maybe you're on the other side of the country. You don't want to get on a plane or uh, you know any of those things these days. You don't want to come out here. You got money burning a hole in your pocket. You've been looking for a red tan. Here it is, okay? Uh, the car's been uh, well taken care of. You can tell. Uh, just by the paint condition uh, that there's not, uh, you know, 180 mile an hour marks on the windshield from cooking down the highway and all that stuff. This car's uh, been in real good hands. A couple little uh, extra, uh, uh, you know, things that uh, somebody thought might look good. There are little red stripes around the wheel. Um, you can either have them removed. We're going to leave them on for today. Um, and uh, just a nice little gives car a little, just an extra little bit of character since it's red kind of looks good. Uh, but overall, this car is in really, really exceptional condition. We're going to go over it kind of sort of body panel by pa body panel real quick, because I do know this car pretty well. And um, I left the key on. Um, but it, it's all in fabulous shape. Check out this tan interior. I mean, it's just a, a beautiful car. But let's hunker down here. Let's go over the specifics. Just in case you want to take this home, you want to know how many chips or scratches or all that kind of stuff that it has. The first thing that I'm going to share with you is that there's a clear bra over the uh, quarter of the nose. So no clear bra here. The clear bra starts here, works all the way across the front of the car and around. So anything that we find up front here that isn't a, you know, an obvious gouge has been protected by the clear bra. So. Without further ado, let's hunker down and find out what's going on with this sucker. Front end's beautiful. Got some clear bot down here up front. I can feel it. Okay, so a little further explanation here. I needed to look at this a little bit better. You know, you have clear bras on these cars and such. And uh, sometimes you think of a clear bra but uh, unfortunately uh, is, is a crack. So uh, it's not a clear bra, it's a crack. You can barely see it. I thought it was a clear bra. It feels like a clear bra. It starts right here where my finger is and travels this distance. I, I wouldn't have known that this was here, folks, unless my face was, uh, how many, seven inches from the front? It's my job though here, though, uh, to let you know you would have never have known this, so hopefully you appreciate the detail we go into here at Celebrity Cars to let you know what's uh, what's gigging, because uh, just a small crack right here. Um, it does look like potentially this piece right up front here has been painted a little bit. Um, I can't tell color-wise at all, but I can just tell the uh, black molding underneath has got a little bit of red on it. So just wanted to let you know about that. These cars sit really low up front. They are, they're very, very popular with curbs, okay? Um, so this is gonna happen from time to time. Um, it's, uh, it's unfortunate, but that's, that's the way it goes sometimes. But other than that, um, there's a couple little marks that we would normally call road wear, uh, just normal stuff that you'd find on any used car. So let me just show you a couple of those. If you could come over my right shoulder for just a second and I'll just point a little bit just so you know that what you're looking at. So just little, little, little pox, little, little marks in the clear bra because this is all clear bra here. A couple little here. You can see the clear bra edges here. You can see the clear bra edge going across the front. 
Looks like a little bit of fluid got inside, uh, a little bit of water got inside this headlight. So there's some, some drips inside the headlight there, which is uh, also unfortunate, but again, not something you're really going to notice on a Ferrari after all this is used again. We're gonna go this direction because the light is a little bit better. Let's finish out this lower bumper. Oh, this is real nice. I still can feel the uh, clear bra that's going on. I got a little scrape under here. I can feel with my hand, mild scrape over here. Uh, oh man. Well, I'm really starting to feel like I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, work with me here, folks. I'm doing this for you at home in case you want to take this car home. I think I'm going to... Man, I don't know if this is clear bra. I guess this is just a clear bra, folks. It's not cracked. I'd like to be clear here, okay? That was not a crack. It's not cracked. It's a clear bra. I, I, it's just really difficult to see in this red. Um, so there you have it. I hope you're following along with this because over here is the exact same lines. And so that is telling me that this is a clear bra to help protect the front end of this car. So although we have a couple, like there's this real small chip right here, um, I can feel clear bra right here. They put it in little pieces because there's, you know, some, some really sharp angles going on up here. Clear bra right out front here. I don't see any spider webbing going on, so therefore, you know, a gunk. And then, you know, a day later, you get a, the spider web effect going on up here. I don't see any of that, so you're in good shape. It's all beautiful red, just a couple little normal road wear, all right? But just to recap, there's no cracks up here. It's a, a, a fancy clear bra that was installed kind of sort of perfectly, and I couldn't really tell. So there's one here, there's clear bra up here, and this is clear bra and not a crack over here. So just wanted to let you know about that. But um, there is a little bit of paint down here along the bottom, so fair enough. Somebody wanted this to look a little better up here, and I can't tell where they painted and where they didn't for sure. Okay, let's keep moving. Up here, barely any road wear whatsoever. Uh, the, the lighting system we have here, celebrity cars, you can see reflections of the skylights and the fancy lighting system that we have in here as well. And you can see that this is uh, really beautiful. If I saw any hairline scratches, you know, from a bad uh, microfiber towel or somebody using their kitchen towel or whatever, I'd be telling you right now, this is beautiful red, I barely see any kind of hairline scratches or any of those things that you'd have to buff out. Let's work our way down the passenger side of the car. So we're down here. This is all good. I do continue to feel the clay bar, or clay bar, the uh, clear bra here. Um, it's got it patched all up in this spot right here. I barely see any road wear. There's a little itty bitty one here, but that's in the clear bra, so you're in good shape. Front wheel and tire, driver's side. Yep, somebody added these little red stripes on here. I can't tell if they're painted on or not, or if it's a sticker. I think it might be a sticker, so this might be removable. Uh, give us a call here at Celebrity Cars and we can help uh, figure the, all that out to you. I'm not gonna pick away at it right now though. It's, it, it, they look really nice. No curb rash, beautiful wheels, great brakes, tires look great. Driver's side door, no dents or dings, no major scratches. Uh, I see a little bit of light scratch to getting in and out of the car here. Let me see if there's clear bra over here on this side, and there is not. Normally you see a lot of extra harder marks getting in and out. There's, there are very small abrasions just from pant legs and maybe the occasional sneaker. Um, but it's nothing bad here. Normally this can be really bad and it's not, just some real small abrasions. Okay. Continuing down the car, I'm looking for little dings, little dents. Door handle looks good. I don't see any major scratches or any bad things happening around the door handle, so that's awesome. All along down here, all this looks really, really nice. There's no surprises. This wheel, rear uh, uh, driver's side, uh, no curb rash whatsoever. Red stripe looks good, fully intact. Brakes look good. Inside the barrel needs to be cleaned, but other than that, it's, uh, this is all really nice. No dings, no dents. I have to hit a button for that, I forgot. Come on back here. 
I'll start to spin this around a little bit so we get all this in the sunlight. A little better light anyway. Okay, that way we can get the passenger side too. Good, okay, rear bumper. Tail lights look good. It's on, it's on, it's on. Little, little wobbly, but not really. And that's on there real good. This whole section back here looks great. Looks like somebody put some touch up paint right there. Again, none of you would notice any of these things at home watching this video unless I were here to pick them out. Small itty bitty scratch right here on the edge of the diffuser. It's really mild. Uh, I don't think anyone backed into anything back here. I just think it was a, just normal road wear. Slight, slight scuff right here on this rear diffuser. All this is good, 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 all good. All one piece, beautiful red, and uh, that's it, man. This is just beautiful red back here. Seems to be a real small something back here. That might just be wax. All looks great. All the lenses look great. Tail lights look great. Oh, that's good. Okay, exhaust system, exhaust pipes coming out of the back. We didn't do anything up here yet. We'll, we'll close with back there. Uh, small abrasion here. So small, somebody put some touch-up paint on it. You can barely see it, but it's there. It's, there's really, I, I, there's something, something really, really mild happened right here. You can barely see it. Again, my face is six inches from the car. You're standing back, you wouldn't notice that at all. Probably not even in the sunlight. No scratches, no abrasions, no little ones. Rear passenger side wheel and tires great. Red's good, tires good. All across the bottom here is good. Small road wear down here at this end. Small chip, you know, a little rock came up. Sorry, bummer, small little rock. Jumped up and hit that spot too. Super small. These are all things that you wouldn't notice at all until you got it in your driveway. I think that's nothing. Front driver's side, or passenger side, wheel and tire. Got a little mark on the red here, but it's not really curb rash. It's just a mark that might even just clean off. All up in here, got some more uh, uh, clear bra. Uh, oh, little mark here, little mark here. Both looks like they had some um, a touch up paint put on them right here. But uh, again, another non noticeable thing for real. Up here, I see something else. Oh, I know we went over this bumper, but there's a real small. Oh, no, that's just a clear bra. Boy, it's hard to determine what's a scratch and what's clear bra on this car. This is just clear bra, uh, you know, starting to, you know, get some patina to it, is all. You don't need to replace it, you don't need to do any of these things. Wheels look great. Let me look at this hood one more time in the top of the fenders. And I'm just looking down at this red and it's just stunning, it's beautiful. I mean, maybe I missed some road wear somewhere, but I'm, uh, this is how close my face is. And I don't see anything to point out except the things that I already did. All right, windshield. Um, looks like we have a little uh, molding wear right here. Just a little discoloration, but it's fine. It's all good. That's just some crud. The seal around the window looks just fine. Just uh, some, you know, a, a 15 year discoloration kind of sort of. Okay, back here. All this looks good. Maybe a, a super, oh, yep. Super small scratch right there. And a super small scratch right there. Super small scratch right there. Red, 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 red. Beautiful. Need a little wax back here. Engine compartment looks wonderful. We'll go over that in just a minute. Red, 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 red. Small scratch, small little chip right there. See my finger now, how big it is. Super, super small. And over here, another super small. Right here, another super small. 
these are all very uh, hard to detect unless you're me and having employed to do condition report to point out. Okay, this is, you get this and go, what, well, I didn't, so, but, but hopefully, you're, you know, you're paying attention, you're following along with this video and, and uh, so there's no surprises. This is all beautiful. Uh-oh. Okay, come on over here. Oh, my hands are getting dirty. Real small little mark about the size of a pinhead right there. I did not look at the side mirror mirrors. I pre presume that they're in pretty darn good shape. That one looks good with little to no wear on it. And this one's got a little black mark on it. But it's kind of a who cares and little to no wear. Okay. Well, I'm gonna, let me open the passenger side door and you can start to look inside here. Now the carpet's in good shape. The tan leather's in good shape. The seats are really pretty and look outstanding. Got somebody's uh, little extra customization here of uh, the Ferrari logo on the headrests, which is pretty cool. Nice white piping in the tan. I'm gonna go over to the driver's side while you're there. Oh, this is great tan color. This is all super nice. Um, lit, uh, just a little itty bitty mark of getting in and out on this bolster here. You all know what they come from. The seams are not coming apart. It's just a little mark of getting in and out of the car. You gotta be careful of these uh, fancy leather seats here. So it's probably more of a from over there, but it's right there and it's really, really mild. Plenty of moisture left in these seats. So you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. I'm trying not to touch anything with my dirty fingers here. Um, inside the door jams look terrific. Super mild, if anything, getting in and out of the car here. Um, it's barely anything to mention. Got a, a trickle charger cable sticking out here so you can charge the battery real nice and easy. Uh, the dashboard looks terrific. I'm gonna hop in here real quick and take a look around. Steering wheel looks fabulous. The center console, obviously we've had a little bit of customization done in here. So we've got a little extra carbon fiber, got a nice Pioneer system. Um, carbon fiber around some of these air vents. The dashboard looks delightful. Uh, no cracks, no dryness. Center console is really nice and clean. The cup holder, the buttons uh, to, uh, you know, to to, to, to do the convertible top. Uh, it's slight wear, uh, you know, just normal button stuff, but nothing goopy and sticky and it's not sticking to my fingers or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, it looks like a small mark here in the pass in the driver's side door. It's super mild. Another kind of sort of who cares, but I'm letting you know that it's there. All the rest of this is just beautiful. There's no marks in the middle of the door. And uh, it's just a beautiful ride. Okay, let's look at the engine compartment and I'm gonna pull this to look inside the nose. Okay, let's start back here. Shocks are in great shape, doing what they're supposed to do. And uh, I'm just gonna let Quincy uh, hunker down and, and look down in some of those little valleys there. You can see how clean this car is and how well kept it's been. Everything looks great in here. Nothing's jumping out. I can't tell if this is an aftermarket Ferrari uh, uh, exhaust. Uh, I'm going to call quite possibly it is. I don't know. That's why you go to CelebrityCars.com. Find out all the details about this car. CelebrityCars.com, go to Ferrari, and I'm pretty sure you'll find this one. But maybe not, because this one's going to go awfully quick. OK, I'm going to close up the trunk, rear hatch. Come on up front, let's look up front. So I didn't grab a last minute uh, vacuum cleaner there. So there's just a couple things laying on the carpet. That's just from a, a, a car cover and so on and so forth. But it's all very nice and clean in here just for these couple, except for these couple little things. We've got, uh, looks to be some, uh, some Couple, give us a call to find out what all is in these compartments here. 
All this black looks great. Looks like we have a new air filter up front here. All these uh, cracks and grooves, all the edges. Uh, it needs a little cleaning up here, but other than that, it's all super shiny, nice and black stuff, nice and red stuff. All right. Well, we kind of sort of looked in the passenger seat. Let me look at these seats again real quick before we wrap up here and make sure no, no, uh, no, no seamage, no, no problems getting in and out of the car here. Carpets are on good shape. I don't, nothing's barking out of me. Oh, look at that aftermarket uh, uh, a speaker system in between the seats. That's pretty cool. I didn't notice that until just now. I knew there was a new head unit in there, but that's pretty neat. Look at that. So if you're a music person, well, darn it, you're all ready to go. Uh, while you're, while we're here, why don't we do this, Quincy? I'm going to hop in. I'm going to start the car, and I'm going to put the convertible top up, just so you know that you don't have to worry about that. All right. We've got it going. Okay, although a little weird at first, but uh, we got the convertible top to go up. I'm gonna start the car up. And we're gonna leave the top down. I just wanted you, or top up. Well, so next we're gonna spin this around. We're gonna get it outside. We're gonna make sure it breaks. We're gonna make sure it accelerates, make sure it drives straight and all those cool things, and we'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, so we got ourselves out in the sunshine, beautiful fall weather here in Las Vegas in the F430 Spider 05. Once again, the odometer shows 28,836. I've got the key turned. I'm gonna hit this little red button. Typical, excellent F430 sound. I'm gonna put my seatbelt on here real quick so the car doesn't yell at me. Everything looks good on the dash. Okay, park brake down. I'm gonna engage first gear. I believe we are in auto, and I'm gonna leave it in auto, uh, you know, halfway around this whole block. So, I'm gonna engage first gear. My foot's off the brake, or hit this gas pedal, off we go. Beautiful shifts, we're doing about 43 miles an hour, let's use the brakes, three, two, and one. Yeah, beautiful, rock solid brakes no squeaks no nothing it just stops the car period it's beautiful i'm not going to screw with the radio i trust that it works oh wow okay so a stereo system in a Ferrari F430 is not supposed to sound like that. That fancy box we went over earlier adds tons of bass in here and it sounds incredible. I even have the top off. That was awesome. Awesome. I had no idea I'm going to keep this car. Forget it. I'm going back. Okay, back on the gas. Everything seems awesome. The clutch feels good. There's no cause for question I'm just everything's great doing the things it needs to do I am going to reach down here though and hit the auto button and use these paddles so automatic transmission is off and I'm going to use these uh, F1 paddles here okay off we go
Ford puts back on the brake. Right turn signal. Downshift into three and two. Still in second gear. Right turn signals back on. Still in second gear. Shift it down into one. No surprises here, folks. It's a Ferrari that does everything a Ferrari is supposed to do. All these buttons look good out here in the sunshine. Deep, dark, tan leather. Very, very cool. No marks or abrasions. If you have any questions on this car, I've been telling you the whole video, give us a call, 702-818-1031, or yeah, go to celebritycars.com, and you can get the car facts, you can get all the information you're supposed to get out of this sucker, and uh, give us a call so you can take it home. We'll see you next time.